One on Battlefield, SG Rock and the Fox, Crescent Monkey, the Marth. I'm Res Lived. I'm Archangel. There you go. And already we got some kicks for you. Yeah, dude. Quick forward air actually putting on a good bit of damage. There's the, the world famous forward smash. Oh, he didn't do it standing. I don't know why he thought the Marth Slayer would work there. He very clearly had his jump. All right, this time he doesn't. But a great up B. He's going to go around it. Crescent Monkey been practicing. This guy. Ooh, look at this dash dance though. I like, I like what I'm seeing for as far as his movement goes. That was, there. that was so smart from SG. Did you see that? He did this this neutral game setup where he baited with a jab and then killed with up smash. But because it didn't work, instead, next time he goes in with a grab and he got the kill for it. Really good, quick adaptation from SG. Yeah, most people will try the same thing at least twice before they switch it up. Yeah. So uh, you can kind of shortcut their mental th like thought process by immediately switching things up. And that's what he did. Oh, did he get him with the Crazy Munch with oh, the Crazy Monkey special? Nah, not quite. But Not it was quite. it was kind of insane that he picked one option to read and got a tipper F smash for it. He's like, you're gonna roll in. Oh look, I got you. As of course Crescent Monkey is a Falcon player, so they're all about reading those texts. Yeah, true. But I forgot he has Falcon boots. Yeah. That's right. But another up throw up air cleans out that stock. Crescent Monkey not looking too good. Ooh, shield drop back here. Oh, okay. He's getting a little desperate with these forward matches. See? You can always tell when Mars feeling the pressure to, to get a KO, because they're just going to throw out a random mess smash. Oh, yeah, they just, yeah, but Crescent Monkey just throws out random mess smashes whenever he feels like, because he's Crescent Monkey. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's having the time of his life. He just... Nice. Oh, but he oh, gets he back. Nice, another tipper. That can he get this edge guard this time? He, he tried to walk up slowly and forward smash. Yeah, that, yep. He probably could have got the down air out of that up tilt like a, a couple seconds back, but still learning, you know? This Fuck. movement from SG has gotten so good. I don't remember him like moving this fast all the time. Yeah, he was very hot and cold in the past, but now he's just hot and hotter. Yeah, he's just always moving. I love it. And I mean, it's it's working out for him. Up three stocks to one now. Crescent Monkey seemingly at a loss. Yeah, he's got to figure something out quick. I mean, you're never quite out of it. But uh, it's not looking good. It's not, yeah. it's not looking good if you're if you're Crescent Monkey. You're definitely looking around at your friends and coaches for help. How about that that up B though? Actually getting him the kill. I've seen Crescent Monkey start to do this a lot. It's kind of like his panic option, and it's not like a bad panic option because of how quick it comes out. Yeah. And no one really expects it. And it's very brawl esque, right? With that that up B out of shield stuff. Yeah. It's not actually like a guaranteed thing. You can actually di down and tech. Let's and he got body. Let's talk about that finish. The <laughs> down throw to running up throw up air. That was sick. All right. So, so let's see what the counter pick is here. Shout out to Fendrick Lamar, by the way. He's in the chat. He's, Dude, doing, he's a, doing everything. He's so good at comment. He's actually commentating from the chat. What? Like Fendi, we got jobs over here. Come on, man. All right. Game number two. Counter pick to Fountain. Everyone, I'm assuming, you know, final was banned. Marth's love taking it to taking Fox to the stage because at some point you can just pretend it's found or pretend it's FD if, this, if the platforms go away. What? Well, you can also do things like that. The, the, you know what I mean? You get uh, get Fox stuck. Marth's sword, Why I'm telling you, the, the Marth's sword range is so good. Yeah, but let's talk about the setup required for that. Is th Was the up tilt to nothing? so that SG would miss a tech on a platform at perfect tipper height. Like, who who would have teched that in their right mind? I don't know, man. And, you know, every Fox player was saying, all right, I'm about to get comboed by this Marth. Crescent Monkey hits him once and says, all right, I'm done. Let's see if he misses this tech. I mean, it's efficient. And a great edge guard here. It's going to bring it back for SG, so it's it's three stocks apiece. Yeah, SG got him with those quick lasers, though. I feel like Crescent Monkey is very unsure of himself sometimes. Like he goes for these very uh, like insecure grabs. Like he doesn't commit. You know what I mean? Yeah, he does. He does a lot of like you know careful grabs. He'll go for like the safer. If he's trying to cover multiple options, he'll try to cover the grab with the safer one, okay. so that he doesn't get punished. Sometimes he's got to commit. You got to put a ring on it. <laughs> I like that back air out of shield by uh, by SG actually. Oh, oh, let's go off the stage, SG. 
he actually, I'm, I'm surprised he almost got the shorten. Yeah, I think he tried to shorten to save himself, so at least you know he's aware, but that mistake could end up costing him the game. Maybe. He's definitely having trouble taking the stock. Finally, he takes it. Good back air. So it's two stocks apiece. And Crescent Monkey gets a grab. This could be dangerous. Oh, oh he got uh, tripped up on the platform right there. I hate that. That's why a lot of people despise the stage. Oh, yeah. Me, me included, dude. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I've gotten better over the years, but things like that make me, you know... They remind me why this isn't my favorite stage. That was, I'm pretty sure that was a club. Ooh! Oh, he just oh. Out of, oh, he tried. He had to Ken combo him there. What? <laughs> He's just going for craziest stuff. <laughs> you can tell that Crescent Monkey is a completely self taught Marth. Yeah. He just kind of figures things out as he goes, so he never does like. He's not necessarily doing the correct option. Yeah. He's just doing the crescent monkey option. Right, and that that really trips you up sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean, because a lot of people they they read the book. You know what I mean? They're in yep. the guides. They're on Super Smash Brothers melee tutorials. Like, how do I play this matchup correctly? What options do I react to? And when you do things that they didn't study for, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my god. <laughs> 85,000 spot dodges in a row. My favorite was that he rolled in place because of the platform. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, I got this. It's a new option. Right, SG is not interested in going to a third game. He's trying to close it out. Not quite. What? what? He jumped into the blast zone. And Crescent Monkey says, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that was. Who knows? I don't know. I'm almost 99% sure that he mashed or something. Crescent. Brendan. Brendan, what'd you do? Oh, he's gone. Oh well. I think we got Fendi versus uh versus Nintendo about to come on stream. Make sure to tell all your friends that my voice did not just crack and that we have an <laughs> awesome stream for you guys lined up. So many good players here tonight. Nintendo, Chillin, Chudet, Hugs, uh who else? Uh we Milkman, Red, no Siren. I was about to say Siren. Yeah. We got a we got a Siren big lineup here. It's gonna be exciting. A lot of good people. And hopefully we'll see the uh, Nintendo versus Hug Salty Sweet match that never happened. Yeah, it's supposed to be happening at Pound now, right? But Well, they're going to meet in bracket today. Oh, I have to play a match, apparently. Uh, Dip. Dip. Alright, so Resolute is out of here. And, uh... I guess I'm riding solo. Actually, I'm going to be joined by Hux. He doesn't like me giving commentary on his play. He wants to pretend that he's a very, very talented individual. Who's this? Pendy. Oh, dear. Yeah, he doesn't like me commentating. What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing, man? Good, good. Dude, this is my first Xanadu. Yeah, you've never so, been here? No, never. The, the, the place looks a lot bigger on, on I, the TV. I was just about to mention that. Like, everybody thinks this is a, I mean... I, think it's, I thought it was a huge venue, man. No, it's just this... It kind of it has, like, an old-school feel to it. Yeah, no, definitely. You know what I mean? I thought like I was back when, in 2006. I remember when Nationals were about this big. Ooh, Fendi with a spike and the Rage Quit, or whatever he's doing. Are these hand warmers, or what's going on? I'm pretty sure these are hand warmers. Or you can't... I mean, it's gonna be... Same outcome, right? <laughs> these are the worst hand warmers I've ever seen. I thought these what? were. <laughs> I don't. How do you do hand warmers in Marth versus like? Oh, okay, they haven't started. Okay. Uh, it might have been like a uh, gamer telling them to wait. Excuse me. Could you pass me my bag, and jacket, real quick? My bag and jacket. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Not that. I just have my controller in here, and that's like my everything. Oh, I feel you. I you protect still have the same controller uh, that you had. In I think 2014. No, uh, no, I've changed it since. Oh, uh, you don't have the pink one? No, well, oh it was too. The case was too nice. I didn't want to like wear it out, so I just stopped using the case and just kept it as a. I feel you. Like as a gift. Do you have it like framed? Fendi complaining about something. I have no idea what's going on. Can we capitalize the S in hugs, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my top top player privilege here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Being a diva. Um, 
So yeah, I saw my path in the bracket. I should be playing uh, 